have to distinguish two different things in the United States at the present time. One is the tactics of Trump on the trade war, and the second is uh, much wider circles who are hostile to China. There's quite a big view in um, the United States that Trump's tactics are very stupid. It's very stupid to have the tariffs. Why? Because the American people pay the tariffs. It's rather like you launch a war and you start shooting at your own side. That means the, the, of course the tariffs have an effect on China, a negative effect, but the most of the t tariff is paid, or in fact almost all the tariff is paid by the American people. So today I'm announcing that I have directed Secretary Purdue to provide $16 billion in assistance to America's farmers and ranchers. It all comes from China. We'll be taking in, over a period of time, hundreds of billions of dollars in tariffs and charges to China. And our farmers will be greatly helped. Up until yesterday, up until yesterday, the president has been very clear that all of these tariff dollars that he wants to transfer to farmers have been coming from China and from Mexico and Canada and so forth, but primarily from China. That's just not true. It's just not true. Those monies, those tariff dollars, come directly from American importers, from American companies. So in other words, Trump is, Trump is shooting at the American people. And a very large body of opinion thinks this is a very stupid tactic. In fact, I'm sure that if Trump is defeated in the 2020 election, the, the next president will not have the tariffs. But the next president may continue a very anti-China uh, policy, but with different tactics. Take, for example, Elizabeth Warren. She's even as, as anti-China as Trump and even criticizes Trump for uh, not having uh, spent enough on the military, for the military not being strong enough, etc. She, she won't alter the hostility towards China. Biden, who's another candidate, won't alter the hostility towards uh, China. Therefore, I think there's quite a significant ch chance that the trade war, even if the trade war runs down, the hostility towards China will continue. But it will continue with different tactics. There are several discussions in the United States about what sort of tactics should be used. One is that should be concentrated in everything on uh, attacking China's high technology companies. For example, on Huawei, um, there is a view that although it would be very, very costly for American companies to cut off all supplies to Huawei, because Huawei is a big customer of them, there is a view in some circles in the United States that the, they will have to pay the price, the cost of this, that it's a loss for individual American companies, but it's crucial to try to attack China's high technology industry. The other thing which could happen about the situation is that the financial war, this is dangerous because of course the United States controls the dollar and they can try to block uh, dollar payments. This is what it's done very successfully with Iran, um, with very big damage in which it threaten, threatens against other countries. On the other hand, that it is a real risk for the United States because China has very powerful financial weapons with which it can reply. And China has got much more powerful means to retaliate than Iran, for example. The most powerful one of China experience indicates is the exchange rate of the RMB. But all the experience shows is that any devaluation of the RMB is a type of financial nuclear weapon which China can use against the United States. Um, when China, for example, carried out only a 2.5% devaluation of the RMB, this led to very big losses on Wall Street. This is one of the reasons why one of the things that Trump wants is he wants to have a um, cu currency aspect to any trade work trade one agreement with China. He wants to try to have a situation whereby China agrees not to devalue the currency. Now, I'm, I'm not in favour of advocating China devaluing the currency. There are other ways in which China could retaliate. It could retaliate through on, on rare earths. It could retaliate on the question of um, limiting um, bank transfers into the United States. It can limit the investment of companies in the United States. It can limit... Chinese companies listed on the New York Stock Exchange. But the most uh, powerful one is the question of the RMB. So it's a difficult thing for the United States to decide. The United States, if it launches a financial war against China, must anticipate that there will be retaliation by China. But nevertheless, it is a certain real risk.